How's it going guys? Chris back here again and today we're going to be doing a quick draft. Um, it's been a while since I've done any limited on the channel and I need to uh, actually do some limited at some point. Um, I was just thinking about Brothers War spoilers because they are coming out in mass over on the MTG Reddit and uh, some of them look pretty good. Like, norm normally with an MTG set, uh, after, like, Kaldheim, basically. Yeah, after Kaldheim, it was basically, you look at the set, and it's kind of over underwhelming, mostly. But Brothers War has seemed kind of crazy, actually. And for historic brawl players like myself, the possibility of getting some, like, Strixhaven treatment... For some of the other cards in the set, like Lightning Greaves and uh, a couple of really old cool artifacts. That's really exciting. Uh, so Torrens is really strong, but I don't know if I want to pivot away from Singular Blue. We'll keep him and look for white and green cards to bolster our deck. So that's a playable green card. We'll take a white uncommon, even though we won't probably use it. Uh, the scorpion is okay. Do, 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 do. Training, so it will get counters. Uh, I guess the spider. Like, I definitely, well, I might not want to use Mirror Hall Mimic, but I probably want to. I'm going to not avoid taking blue cards because I think blue is still going to be necessary. We might end up like a blue-white flyer stack. Uh, actually, this one's just better for us, right? Because it's more power. Uh, we might be going spirits, so guess. Geist Light Snare might be better for us. Hmm. Uh, chill will go in the bin. Take a colorless card because it can be cast. Uh, I guess that's probably better. We'll take the green card. So we have another green card. This could actually help us splash white. Uh, we will definitely need more fixing though. Well, that could actually be fixing. I do like an infested expert. Infestation expert. Spider could be good. Storm Drake is actually really powerful. I will take me a Storm Drake. Hmm. Can I get a counter on it, though? I'm going to take web. Second web. We get another aura, but we might. I would like to. Mm, that could be okay. Mm, it's technically removal. And massive might. And we get an ambush too. I think I am going to go Bant, but it's going to be Bant splashing two cards. So we'll 
sorts by our rare to mythics. We have three, which is a little low, honestly, but and we'll take the Dauntless, we'll take the Expert Horror. It's a recursive flyer, I'm not actually going to say no to that, I guess. And now we'll just look at our comments to see what the best we've pulled of a lot is. So, there's one that's fixing, and or I want to grab that. I want to grab the Hedron Geist. That's also an ore, though it's not like a good one, right? But I do want some combat tricks for Storm Drake. So I'm thinking Web is probably Web and Might is probably where I want to go. That'll be our removal spell. Maybe we didn't pick up more of those. Uh, we can pay the cleave cost for those. But I guess that kind of puts our deck over the over the budget, right? We have two of them, and we put them in the deck. So where did they go? Right here. We might get. How many creatures do we have? That's a. Uh, yeah, so we really can't afford to cut creatures, unfortunately. I did not mean to come here, but we might as well change our sleeve while we're here. Um, yeah, I actually think I will just get rid of a pump spell. And... That's really all I want to get rid of, but I, I guess I gotta get rid of something else. Uh, Case Flame? Like with three colors, it might be a bit difficult to spend time holding up counter spells, right? Because we have to make sure that we get all of our land drops, which is why we're running things that search up land and enchantments that can be used to uh, fix mana. We're going to go into our first match. Hopefully, it's not anything too challenging. Although you never know with drafts, like I am a, I am a all or nothing draft player in that either what I build works and it gets me to six or seven wins or I lose horribly. I mean, I also can do the whole, the whole like just three games in a mill. But it feels less common than the you scrub or you win, right? So Mishra's um, The Brothers War is coming out in November. And it is insane looking sometimes. Like there are still some cards that I look at and think, wow, this really got dialed back. But then there are other cards that I look at and I'm like... I don't know how this is working, right? Because one of the weirder ones we're getting is like land destruction. Like we've had like two more land destruction spells and neither of them are actually very powerful. Like they're still hmm. They're still fairly weak as far as like quality of spells go. But, um, like, one of them is rare and actually just levels, yeah, it actually just levels the playing field, um, for, uh, for players, so I... It's hard to remember what the exact card name is, but it's a white spell, and it basically makes you sacrifice all permanents but six lands. 
uh, which is crazy, right? That's that's crazy. Hmm. Are they gonna exploit? We are out of action, but we do have the lead in damage, which is, I mean, it's nice. Unless our opponent deals with our flyers like we are. Ouch. That is the most painful. Whispering Wizard. We had it all, but it's all gone now. I guess we should have been more cautious, right? Because they still have a lot of cards in hand, and the chances that they could answer at least something uh, was non-zero, right? I just didn't think they'd answer two out of three of our threats. That was a bit rough. Um, this is one of the only things we can block, so. If they. Okay. Exploit. You know, there's some neat exploit cards from this set that I just have not seen around. And I think it's because, like, the exploit rare is the ones that are probably. With the, I thought that there might be another festivities in my future. I didn't think it would be the same festivities, but uh, this is us dead. That's game one. A very promising start, if I don't say so myself. We never claim to be good at magic here. Just that we played magic. Especially draft. It's weird how... Um, how different drafting constructed can be, right? I mean, weird. Hopefully, nothing odd is going on. Because if something odd is going on, I'll have to continue this in another video because it'll be like 20 or 30 minutes before things start working again. I guess it's fine. Uh, we just have to continue, right? It's nice to have the uh, the arena weirdness happen uh, at the end of a game instead of in the middle of a game. Because in the middle of a game, like, if it happens and you can't get back to where you were, quick enough. It's just automatically a game loss, right? An automatic game loss in an event that ends after three game losses is very, very rough. And uh, sometimes it's just regular like internet troubles, but sometimes more often than not, it's because Wizards has done something weird. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll keep this. I like this. Ooh, I could copy my spider. I have a 2 3 with reach opponent. Here we go. Well, color me surprised. I think I'm going to ramp next turn because I can't cast anything else. Hmm. You can now add two mana of any one color, which means that next turn we're up to five mana, which is fairly decent for this point in the game. Our opponent also happens to be up to five mana though, so I guess we didn't ramp as hard as we thought we did. I would love to put on a creature, but. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to pass here. Because I can have Alchemist Retrieval be interaction on their turn, right? Yo, Torrens, how you doing, buddy? Uh, 99 to 1 that he gets removed. If he doesn't, we're very happy. But yeah, he, he's got to be, right? I guess we just play our 4-4 four, four flyer and hope that that fixes the issue. And then we mirror hall mimic it. 4-4 four, four flyer for 4 is actually pretty decent. Just a lot of work getting there, right? So we can't afford not to cast anything. So we have to cast Mirror Hall Mimic. Because if we don't cast anything, Wolfkin flips into a 6-5 and ruins our day. We got two removal spells out of their deck, which is kind of insane. That is the happy moments, right? That's the good stuff. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on in Brothers War, though. Uh, I would say, <laughs> I know that's a very weird transition, but um, There's a card that got previewed that's an artifact that when you tap it, you can search your opponent's library for, uh... Yeah, they're seeing if I'm willing to trade, but I am. Because Mirror Hall Mimic is actually better in the graveyard. Let's mill another mill land. Not great, honestly. That is kind of like the simple joy of mill, though, right? Uh, that it just kind of kind of works. Yeah, the artifact I was talking about. I'm sorry, I've been getting a lot off of track here. Far, far left field, out of track. Um, so there's just some two mana artifact that when you tap it, you can search your opponent's library for four copies of a card and exile those. I think it's a library hand and graveyard, and then they draw cards equal to the number of uh, uh, cards you exiled that way. So it's like a really bad, um, like a really bad surgical extraction, but at the same time, like a bad surgical extraction is still. Still a surgical extraction, right? Like, we had a uh, three-mana version of the effect uh, with a downside work and standard before in the past. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the seven here. Hmm. I think I'm actually coming out on top in this interaction. I think uh, our Bloodline Harvester has just uh, got the job done. So we're milling nine cards this turn. They have nine cards left, so if we survive to our next turn, we just win. Well, we win with damage anyways, right? But Flying is one of the 
one of the things I learned early in my forays into drafting is that flying is an underrated mechanic when there are limited resources on the board, right? Like evasion goes way up in value when your card pool is lessened, right? I said right there twice, which is just too many rights. But it's basically if there aren't that many... Uh, if there aren't that many cards in the pool, anything that can uh, get around a fundamental rule of the game is pretty, pretty powerful. Which is why I'm happy to pay six mana for a four for a flyer. Like, it's, it's way... It's way below, like, the, the vanilla test, which is if it costs four mana, it should have four power. Uh... Or if it costs three mana, it should have three power. Like those are like the like the baseline cards for what you want for playable in a constructed format. So those kind of things really don't really don't have as much of a pull on uh, formats like a limited, right? Like it's it's good to have a four mana four four in limited. Like it's really good, but at the same time, if you have a four mana four four in constructed it may not be good enough right but if you have one in um you know if you have one in constructed it might not be good enough but if you have one in limited it's generally always going to be good enough do, do, do. So i think i'm going to use this to search up a white land so i can play my torrent next turn I know I don't have, um, well, that's, well, they didn't jump, wow. Yeah, I know I don't have another creature to, like, make it work, but hopefully we draw something and that gets us out of the issue. Storm Trigger's Drake with a pump spell in hand is actually really, really powerful. Like, that's a card that is constructed playable. Oh, this is Fear of Death, isn't it? I kind of thought it was the other one. Uh, Alchemist Retrieval. It is an alchemist retrieval. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna put this on my on the top of my library, and I'll just swing in for two, and uh, we'll protect it, or we'll combat trick during their turn, or protect one of our threats. Right, depends on what we need to do. Like this is plus three, plus three, and reach. Like, that's decent. Uh, huh. I would have liked to use that on my um, Storm Chaser Drake, but. And we made him use two removal spells. We are taking damage. Hmm. Fear of death. I mailed it again. God. You know, I'm just gonna hold up Alchemist Retrieval. That feels like it's probably the right thing to do. Hmm. 
this wipe my team? I don't want to wipe my team. Drake, you have not done me any favors, so you can die. I know you're a good card. That's on me, not you. Torin, you're attacking. You're gonna get blocked, but I, I wanna get rid of the temptation to throw you in front of a bus. So I can't guarantee that I'm not gonna just draw a land. So before my draw step, I'm gonna put uh, Screaming Swarm on top of my library. Well, on the second from the top of my library. So that way I know that if I whiff this turn, I'll at least be getting something down the line, right? So we're 1-1 one, one at the moment, and it looks like we're losing this one. That's pretty much what this means, I think. Uh, so we activate this. Resolve. Watch us draw something that costs 4 mana. E well... We're never going to make it anyways. So we take two. We go down to one. We play our five drop. We exile two creatures from our yard. We draw a card. It's a land. Then we lose. We might be two creature light, right? Like a 15-10 split is pretty greedy. I don't know, I generally like like 17. 17.9 is pretty comfortable with me. Um, I'm actually not that familiar with draft, right? Because when I, back in the day, when I played Magic in real life, um, which was, I say back in the day, but it was not actually that long ago. Um, the only really limited events that I went to were, um, were pre-releases. And pre-releases are sealed. They're not draft. So you get six packs and you get to build a deck from the six packs you get, right? Draft is also limited, right? They're, they're technically part of the same format. Um, but I feel like draft, you have to be more critical in your card selection. And um, I'm not always the best at that. Like, I see a lot of cards and I want to see them work and do things, but sometimes, like, evaluating the mana value versus the actual reward of playing the card versus, like, the cost of having it be a card in your deck is uh, something I'm still not the greatest at, right? Like, you've seen that in some of my Brawl decks, where there are cards in there that are far-flung ideals that are not actually ever going to come to fruition, but they have reserved a spot in the deck because they could one day be a thing, you know? Uh, the Johnny Avatar. We're up against a platinum player, which means our career as a, uh, as a drafter is ending in this match. Like, this man will destroy us. And honestly, I'm not too shaken up about it. We have a massive bank of gems, so we get trashed, we get trashed. So I don't expect like the blue-black experienced player to not have uh, removal in his deck. Whenever an opponent does that where they attack, A 
and just like leave all their mana up, that's generally a sign that they want to do something, right? And in my experience, it's generally, hey, are you willing to make a mistake and trade out your creature so that I can have another creature, right? So it's, yeah. So where do I want to put my aura? Do I want to try to draw a card with it or do I want to try and make another creature? I probably just need another creature if I'm being honest. Yeah, which is what? That's kind of neat. Wish you didn't have it though. And these are actual zombies, right? Like, they're not decayed. Now they're actual zombies. Let's see if they got it again. Bet they do. Yeah, something different, but... Still pretty decent. Like, if you're building a draft deck, you want to build a deck like this guy. <laughs> like this is actually a very well-put-together deck. Like, our deck is running fairly decent, and we're just getting smashed. Um, let's get rid of the exploiters. Yeah, I guess if we had blocked three, we would have taken four damage. And we would have been on one, but we were dead anyways. And I misplayed at the end because of tilt. Ah, well, that's rough. Well, either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it will not be as depressing as this draft. But you never know. We might just roll the dice a second time. Either way, I'll see you next time. Bye.